Decorating Like a Pro. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I am so excited to be here before you because this is a collaboration, a collaboration unlike any other. There are 19 YouTube channels coming together under this collaboration, a collaboration that was put together by two awesome YouTubers, and they are the captains. They are Cassandra of the Organized Clutterbug and Catherine from Do It On A Dime. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Today is a great day to start loving YouTube because all of us are coming together to share some knowledge with you about our favorite organized spaces. Yes, that's the title, our favorite organized spaces. And guess what? When I had my epiphany of my favorite organized space, I was standing in it. It's my kitchen. Now I'm not gonna walk you through my entire kitchen. I'm just simply going to show you a few of my kitchen drawers and my kitchen island because you've got a whole lot more videos you're gonna wanna watch from all of the other YouTubers that are participating. Now, their actual links to their actual videos are going to be below in the comments area. So make sure that you click onto each and every link, enjoy their video, and then take one more step. That is to subscribe to their channel. And the reason why I say that, because today is a great day to build your YouTube subscription library. You're gonna have everyone underneath one umbrella, all doing the same thing, talking about organization, and you just never know what we're gonna come up with next. So we hope that you take this challenge on and subscribe today. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through my kitchen so you can get started watching my video and all the other videos as well. Let's go to work. I keep all of my large spoons and spatulas in the very back. You will be able to see some soup ladles there. Some of those are very old school, belong to my mother. I cannot get rid of them, so, so, so sorry. You also see a spoon rest there from the dollar store of a decade or so ago. It was just a terrific find. Gotta keep it must hang on it's the first thing I pull out when I get ready to start cooking and I also alternate these items as you can see you can get much more in there by turning them every other direction now, these are the three drawers that are directly in the middle of this peninsula so let's take a look at what's inside on the bottom drawer we have my wok and in the second drawer we have lids to pots and pans and I know what all of those belong to and then thirdly we have my spice drawer which is a work in progress and as you can see I have an actual tension rod separating it in the very middle because that way as the drawer is open and closed the bottles aren't shifting around all over the drawer and getting all out of place. I also have salt and pepper shakers here as well and there are many salt and pepper shakers right here and I need to get at least 11 more sets because I like the idea of individualized salt and pepper shakers on the table when we have guests. Now, this next drawer has all of the things that I love to have in a drawer. First of all, you got to have mittens. Protect your hands. You never know when you are going to reach onto the stove or something's boiling over and you need to get it off of the eye really, really quickly. You need to have the key essentials next to your oven or next to your stove. If those two items are separated, make sure that you have mittens directly next to the stove. And then of course I have my wooden spoons. I actually call this drawer the pasta drawer. Anything that boils that you have to lift out of hot water is in this drawer. You see hot dog tongues right here, pasta tongs, you've got seafood colanders right here in this drawer. So I find it very accessible, very easy to work with. My wooden spoons are here as well. And if you would like for me to do a video on how to clean those, I'll be glad to do that. But this is one of my favorite drawers. Love it. The oven and the refrigerator are two more drawers. The very first one has some miscellaneous items inside of it. As you can see, more oven mittens and you see cooling racks. You also see my box cutter. When I do get UPS deliveries, etc., I like to sit the box on the floor and not on top of my counters. I've got chalk for my chalkboard as well. I've got my icing cylinder with all of its miscellaneous gadgets inside and of course miscellaneous lids.
liquids that belong to my Nutribullet as well as my coffee canisters. So this is sort of a miscellaneous little drawer, but I try and keep it orderly. I have cloth napkins, napkin rings, coasters, straws, of course, for those people with very sensitive teeth like me. And this is located directly next to the refrigerator. And these are also some cute little things, guys. This is actually a tea napkin. It's six inches by six inches in linen. Got it from Macy's decades ago. I have just dishcloths and dish towels. Directly below, I have a drawer that I altered just slightly. This was actually um, the place where we kept two trash cans. That's how these cabinets were designed, but after a while, the guys were just filling up the trash cans just too quickly. They were small, and I decided to remove the trash cans, put in two tiny baskets here. They're not that tiny, but this is where I keep the components for my shark steamer. It's readily accessible, and the more readily accessible it is, the more often you're bound to use it. So this just works out for me. I put a small trash can on the other side of the counter, and that fits, and you know what? They don't fill it up as fast, and it's practical. Husband prefers to drip coffee from his Mr. Coffee. I can't get rid of it for this life of me. And I prefer brewed. I like that steam percolating kind of thing going. I prefer teas. And some of my teas I have stored in the pantry like these. But then the others I keep here in what I call my tea drawer using my little Dollar Tree trays and bowls. This works out beautifully. He's got the creamers right here. And you know what? This one is double stacked. I can actually just have the two trays inside of the drawer, or I can just keep it like so with the bowls, which I like, because this is real easy to manage. If you're serving guests, you can just simply lift out the tray or either lift out a bowl and place it next to a cup of coffee. In the very back here, I have my stirs and of course, my tea infusers are right here as well. Raw sugar, all of these little things you can just lift out. They're already ready to serve or just enjoy anytime that you want. And I love this setup. Let's just take a quick tour of my little island. It opens on the front as well as on the back side. And it is also wired so I can actually plug in electrical appliances and do additional work. So right here on the very left hand side, I have everything associated associated with measuring. It's measuring cups and measuring spoons. I've got my spatula here. I also have my gloves. And by the way, you need to be careful when you're selecting your gloves. Make sure they can be used for food. If they can't, if just simple plastic gloves will not do when you're working with food. I also buy these and have these from the Dollar Tree. They're extras and I like to keep these handy just in case guests come over. And then of course on that same left hand side inside of the cabinet, I have my mixing bowls and more measuring cups right here below. And as you can see, my lovely little pot holder right here. I have everything inside. associated with chopping and cutting up items in the kitchen. As you can see my little chopping board here, you also see all of my knives all inside of the drawer. Since I worked in retail for 31 years, I just don't like knives out publicly. Too many accident claims, you know? So I keep the scissors, I keep everything that I have to use for cutting right here, piece of slicer, apple dicer, everything right here inside this drawer. I also keep band-aids, you know, and matches. I don't do lighters inside of drawers. Um, I've had one to actually leak inside of a kitchen drawer, so I don't do that anymore. I keep matches. So my knife drawer, I have everything uh, concerning platters or serving dishes and trays. And I would normally keep my little microwave covers in here and I'll show you where I keep those in just a second. But this is very practical for me. As you can see, lots of Dollar Tree with the little plexi bowls as well. You know what? You just need to always keep some of these close by. Do a quick salad. You get guests coming over with one day's notice. That's the way it's been lately at my house. But it's good to have these items handy right here in the door. I have these little um, um, silver metal, uh, basically they're plastic little forks and spoons. They're right here. I, they're already cut open. I just simply take them out, rinse them off really quick, and then serve the guests with those, whether it's cake we're just going to have or whatever. Uh, but I think it's just practical to have these things around. For one dollar, you just cannot go wrong with that. I have other platters as well down here. So whether it's a little bit more formal or casual, I keep those here underneath. And then, of course, you have that guest 
whose birthday you didn't know about and they show up amongst others and you decide to have a little celebration. So in that slice of cake, throw in one of these little birthday candles, come out singing, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Thanks for visiting me, happy birthday to you. It'll go over really well. And on the other side of the door, I did basically the same thing using those little command hooks right here in the doorway. There's my cutting board, favorite. It's a lightweight one and you know what, cleans up really, really well. And of course, additional LED candles right here, which we like to use on on the back porch. So this is just a practical way that I like to call a serving center has been set up, whipping out a bowl, platters, and things like that. And you're good to place go. place that I store my microwave plate covers, I leave them in the microwave. You can't forget to put it on top of the plate if it's already in the microwave. And of course, you wash it right away and put it right back in the microwave. It's alright 